Good luck. Welcome back. We are in week 209 of the teaching ladder. For each week, you get to play a higher ranked and lower ranked, or higher rated and lower rated opponent, and subsequently review the game together. Um, it's a fun exercise. And due to some time zone differences, we don't always get all day to review afterward. And it's sometimes challenging to schedule a game, and that's okay. Uh, the important part is that you get to play and you get to review. Um, and yeah, okay, our opponent is playing my favorite opening, which is kind of cool. I guess I'm honored. Um, do I want to try anything against this? I've always been a bit curious, as other streamers have, what happens if you try to chase down the pawn. Uh, plus, I don't know where the king's going, so I don't want to overcastle before the opponent overcastles. I don't want them to play Anaguma Castle either, so I will throw this in very quickly. Um, but yeah, this is always an interesting idea. Um, hmm. <laughs> Do I want to push my... Of course I want to push my Rook Pawn. What am I talking about? The Rook Pawn must be pushed. It would be ridiculous not to push it, because eventually I will need to push this. Oh, Joy, we have memories of previous games. <laughs> um, decided by some rather exciting tactics. Okay, then. Um, well, seems like we're going down a tactical road once more. That's fine. Can I push this? No, not safely. I could push it and try to grab a, a lance, but it's... Well, dangerous is a relative term. Um, foolhardy is not. <laughs> um, wait, I could push the rook and then push the pawn. But that would give them time to move this gold over here, but that takes away from the defense of the king. My rook is hanging. And unable to push this pawn safely. Uh, yeah, this looks of some interest. We're playing with fire here, folks. But the ability to get the bishop, drop it, pick up a lance, and then use the lance on the center file should the center file open is interesting. Um, that said, well, am I feeling it? Or do I think it's it's a bit much this turn? This turn it looks like it's a bit much. Um let me spend one turn defending. See what they come up with. Okay, they do protect the king. As is quite reasonable to do. Um I don't want to over... Hmm. Mino might not be the right shape here. Um... Hmm. Now, Mino's a decent shape. Let's build Mino Castle. Hmm. 
I see we're going down the rabbit hole once more. I'm here for it. This looks interesting. Timing wise, it's the wrong time for me to initiate exchanges because I haven't finished my castle. Um, the tactics, however, do not seem to favor the opponent. I'm not seeing a combination that's a knockout blow. Um, and I am seeing the possibility that I lift this silver and snap the pawn. I'm also seeing the possibility that I move this pawn forward twice and then do that. That takes one, two, three, four moves to make this threat. And it doesn't even pick up the pawn immediately either. Because I still don't have a third attacker, I'd have to lift the rook and hit the pawn directly. Um or find some other way to hit this. But I think patience and discretion are called for here. I was mildly tempted to put the work on the third file, and then that looked just ridiculous. Bishop drop does not win. Um, pushing the center pawn... Pawn takes, Rook takes Pawn, yeah, okay, that's no good. Um, if they're pushing 1, 2, and if I want my Rook back over here, I need to push this twice. One, one, two, two, Rook over. All right, let's do it. The silver could be going out this way as well, but... Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah, I don't think lifting the rook to the center file... I mean, it's my opponent's unique strategy... Um, I don't think it confers an advantage. Um, to put it mildly. So now my rook could be attacked by the silver. However, then the silver has nowhere next to move to. I've found a home for this... Admittedly, I can't bring out the bishop and the knight because the silver forks the two before I can get the knight moved. But I can complete my castle. And the opponent has one tempo here before I do that. And I don't see a way that they can make excellent use of that one tempo. They could push these pawns, but is that an excellent use of a tempo? You be the judge. I could also push this up and move the gold up um, before moving the silver. I think I have time here. I think time is very much on my side in this position. Okay. They continue playing the most aggressive move every turn. Reasonable. It's a policy, and you stick to your policy. Um, let me defend my bishop, because why not? Oh, right. There is that. Uh, there is that concern. Um... Hmm. Well, I forgot that that was a concern, and my rook is hanging. 
Hmm, that's annoying. Troublesome, even. Um, Well, I think I just have to eat the loss and move on. So let's do it. I have lost a pawn in broad daylight. There's nothing I can do to save my pawn. So we will just accept that and somehow move on from it. Ideally, I would have moved the rook back down the file, and this tactic would not have been available, but then maybe there was something in the center file that was stronger. Maybe I dodged a bullet by taking this bullet instead. What do I know? Um, So my rook moves again, which I'm not a fan of, but I don't have a choice. I could protect the rook. It gets tiresome. It's better that I do something active like this. Mm-hmm. I have no attack. That is most troublesome. I got no choice. I gotta play this. This is the only way I managed to make an attack here. It blocks my bishop, but so does this knight. So any threat to, any threat to open this diagonal is not that powerful. Maybe I need to threaten to try to do something on this edge, but like I don't have anywhere near enough pawns for that to work out. Arguably, I'm threatening to advance this pawn, advance the silver, and advance this pawn again. But it's so painful. And our opponent has the initiative, and I just have to sit back and suffer in silence as they just continue attacking. And I have nothing here. There's nothing I can do. But just sit there and continue to eat it. Because they have a really solid position. So, um, I guess what I can say is, a thousand times I've told people that my opening knowledge and skill and memorization and all that is not the greatest, and that I routinely bleed pawns in the opening and early middle game. I'm not sure how many times I have to repeat that statement for people to actually start to believe it. Um, but, like, there's nothing I can do here. Um, I guess if I had a bishop, I could drop the bishop, take this pawn, promote my rook. If I had a bishop. 
And I could get a bishop by attacking this bishop here. So if we put these two things together, maybe I should have just pushed the bishop to the edge. Or moved up the knight first and then pushed this. I don't know. Um, moving up the knight has its own set of problems. But it has advantages too. This is exchange sacrifice. It's probably my best bet. Even though, like, this knight instantly gets protected somehow or moves away. I get a lance and there's nowhere I can use the lance. And my opponent has a strong attack down the center file, especially now that I've moved the silver away. Um, even though there's all these factors that are not in my favor. Like, I'm not sure that I can just continue to sit here and eat it again and again. Um, without an attack, the game is lost. Maybe they're considering this pawn 5-6. If they do that, I could move up to silver. Um, is moving up the silver best? No. I should just take the pawn. Is this not... Well, it's a tactic, but it's not a simple tactic. But, like, it's not that hard either. What am I missing? Okay. That is a reasonable follow-up. Um, no, that is an impulsive continuation. Um, I can have options of retreat or move sideways. Um, I can move sideways either direction, too. I I would have pushed this pawn, probably. I don't think I would have instantly dropped this pawn here. Because it blocks the knight, it blocks the rook, it blocks the bishop, and it blocks the silver. Um, so... I'm not thinking that this drop was very effective. Perhaps if they had the silver in hand and could drop it here instantaneously, that might be a different situation. Perhaps what they're considering is silver takes and they don't see pawn drop following. So silver takes pawn drop, rook takes silver fork. And even if they take back, I can take again, and I'm threatening the rook. Perhaps that is what was missed. Because um, if you ignore that one tactic, then this actually does start to look pretty reasonable. There's a good hope that, hey, if I could just get a silver in hand, i drop it here. There's a lot of good reasons to support what they're doing. I missed that. Um, I miss that this is possible. I don't think it's good. Um, I don't say that to be mean, I just... Okay, one. They recapture, surely. And even though... Promoting a rook is a big part of Shogi, and they do get to promote a rook, I guess. Um, winning pieces is also a big part of Shogi, winning material. Um, 
So that's a fork. And I have one loose piece, and it's this knight. And the knight is worth less than a bishop is worth. They might promote the silver and try to make some exciting tactics. And that would... That might be their most reasonable course of action, given where we're at right now. They might also drop the rook on the file or some... Well, I have a pawn drop against it. Um... Uh, depending how that plays out. It's like rook drop back here, pawn drop, rook takes, rook takes, rook, drop the rook again. Uh, this gold is hanging. Uh, so they'd have to drop the rook a third time or whatever, and then we take the bishop. And eventually we were able to drop a bishop or a silver or something and fork all these pieces. Okay. So, rather than try to take... Wait, can I take this? I can. Should I take it? No. Well, maybe. Rook takes, rook takes... It's hard to see a good next move after that. Rook takes rook, silver takes. Rook drop again. Doesn't do anything. If I force the silver to retreat and I drop the rook back here, I don't have a silver. They can win my knight, I can win a lance. I'm not sure what good the lance does. It's complicated. <laughs> okay, believe in the heart of the cards. We're going to do it. The bishop's hanging, so I'm not lost for a move here. Yes, my rook was hanging for one tempo. And one tempo alone. And I've solved that rook hanging problem. I don't like the solution, but... I'm able to make threats somehow. My opponent's position is the position of greater comfort here. I'm definitely not comfortable in this Well, okay, actually. If the bishop abandons the pawn, I can drop a silver and then take this. But at which point, um, the pawn's just going to exchange rooks to prevent me from taking this tempo. Um, but that's possible, using my silver advantage. I could also bottom pawn here to prevent this from easily promoting. Um, they might just straight up promote the pawn. They don't. Okay. What a challenging position. Um... Okay, I will defend against this promotion, which threatens to smash my castle. Um, this is challenging. 
I'm threatening, I guess, Silver Drop and Silver Take Spawn. I have a loose piece, don't I? That is a problem. Okay. Um, do I care? How much do I care? Oh, I can hold this with a tactic, actually. It's disgusting. But possible. If I block my bishop with a silver that I really don't want to do, I could save material. Wait, I could attack the bishop directly. No, the tactics aren't as I imagine. Um, I could move the bishop. That's how we break this up. There we go. I'm not going to block my bishop. That's not happening. So if I drop a rook back here and then I drop a silver, that's an attack. Or if I drop the rook on the... Well, if I put a rook on the center file, they're going to promote the pawn. And drop another pawn. Nullify my rook. So we're not doing that. Um, hmm. Let's fix my hanging silver. I'm not going to keep a hanging silver around forever. I could try to trap their rook. What? They're going to sack this? What's this? I saw them click the rook. I saw the rook become highlighted. Um, the rook is not... Not my top consideration in this position. What could they... Okay, if they had a second bishop, that could be interesting. I guess I have to admit that. No, it's not. If they had a bishop and a knight, sure. Okay. Guess I kind of get it. Um... Hmm... Strange. Okay, yeah, I if I lose the knight here, that's I don't think that's fatal.
これより秒読みに入ります。So yeah, the night's hanging. I accept that. I think that's only part of the story here. And while the Mino checkmate is a big threat, I think I've parried it. This is complicated. Sanjubio
I think time is on my side here. The opponent has been trying to do things very Don't tactically reveal. for move one. And I think they are running out of tactics. Sanjubio It's so tempting to Nifu right there, drop a pawn and push it. That'd be Nifu. Perhaps bottom pawn as defense was a bad idea. Of course they can drop a lance on the center file. It's not easy to parry. I'm sorry, it's not free to parry. I could obviously drop a gold to parry it. Or a knight. Sanjubio Oh. Oh, hang on. That's way stronger than I thought it was. If gold takes, this is hanging. If silver takes, this is still hanging. If the king moves, the gold is hanging. If the king takes, 
I don't know, man. Something. Um, king takes, I still take it. Oh. Yeah. No, that's pretty cool. Do I have better than taking it? No. If they drop something, I have night drop here. Night drops, silver takes, yeah, okay, whatever. Um, oh, they have a pawn. I forgot they have a pawn. I don't know what matters, what they block with. Um, my point was that the, defending the square seems difficult. Hmm. I'm not reading. I'm going to pretend I didn't see that. Um... I just have to not nifu. So I saw this. This surely must be good enough. Um, I'm not saying it's going to be easy, but... Um, Bishop drop, gold drop is a threat. They could move this gold out to defend against said threat. Um, knight drop, gold drop is a threat. Bishop drop, knight drop, whatever. There's a lot of attacking moves here. Um, I don't have a bishop. I thought I did. I defend against Bishop 5-5 five five and generate some more threats while continuing to avoid Nifu. There's 
such an urge to Nifu here. And I do this before night drop because the night would block this attack. Um, Lance takes. Bishop takes. No, they get mated. Lance takes, gold takes. And my attack ends. That's no good. Um, knight drop, knight takes, and then I could take here with the lance mm -hmm. is good enough. Um, <laughs> so sloppy. So sloppy. Uh, there were reasons. There were reasons. But I'm not saying they're good. And I did already start to question why I dropped it. Um, the opponent was threatening to promote in my territory. And I just mentally could not calculate all that. So I dropped a pawn to defend against their pawn promotion threat. Um, Not saying it was right, but that's what I was dealing with. Night drop, silver, this, ew. Ew. I mean, a rook's not going to help them in any way here. I'm not running. They have to take that. I think gold takes, in fact, is forced. It's not pleasant either. If silver takes, I can take this bishop. Well, no, then I can... Okay, yeah, gold takes... Um, I can still take this bishop. I guess the king runs away because I've been slack here. <sighs> Playing slack moves because I'm nervous.
30秒40秒50秒There is a line, I think, from the movie of The Return of Jafar. Um, where Jafar asks Aladdin, How many times do I have to kill you? And Aladdin says, Once would be enough. Um, I need to win this game once. I need to find a checkmate. My opponent is defending very skillfully, and I'm not attacking the most skillful manner. Thanks for the game. Ah, okay, I'm, yeah, you're absolutely right. I apologize for missing all the checkmates. That was not my intention. I've said I'm bad at endgames. So, with that said, uh, because this is a teaching ladder, after the game we get to review the game together. Due to time zone differences, our review might be expedited, but we'll do what we can. Yeah. Um, okay, so this is what they're considering. I was starting to think about this, too. Hmm. Um, did I have something planned against this? Uh... This is complicated for sure. Um, there's tactics everywhere here, aren't there? Uh, what to do? Do we take the rook? I think we take the rook. And I don't have a move that instantly wins the rook drop, and they are threatening mate, so I have to deal with the mate threat. Um, hmm. hmm. I wonder. This is complicated. It's exciting playing these openings because yeah that it's not quite as crazy as side pawn picker or side pawn capture but um, when we're trying to play central file rook against each other tactics erupt in the most unpredictable ways 
Um, hmm. Uh. <laughs> yeah, so... Oh, only the sidelines, the side pawn capture are exciting. Okay, that's good to know. I guess that's why they're sidelines. Um, because if they were... Were they tame, um, they would be played as main lines. Uh... Jeez, this is sharp. Do I give back the rook to get a lance? I don't think so. Um, I think I have to take the bishop, even though... <laughs> yeah. Uh... They're up a minute on the clock. Uh, I think I have to take this one. <laughs> and I don't know what's next here. Um, I'd love to say I do, but I don't. Uh, I guess I have to take this. It's kind of ugly. But that knight is somewhat menacing. Hmm. Can't help but wonder if you missed something earlier or later in the game. Yeah, I, I think against that I do this. And surely I must have some anything I can do here. Um, there must be something somewhere, somehow. Yeah, I don't like having rooks on my side of the board. Um, uh, <laughs> oh, third file versus central file. I see. Yeah, I'll have to come up with something, because it seems like I'm always struggling a bit against whatever they play. Um, yeah, I'm quite curious about the rest of the game, to be honest, even though there's too much to analyze, but um, it doesn't hurt, us to tr hurt for us to try. Oh! Ah, okay, yeah. Right, yeah, this makes good sense to... Um...
Uh, yeah, I was stunned um, by this silver move. Because it just kind of arrests uh, their position somehow. If we exchange too many pieces, they're in trouble. Um, if we exchange not enough pieces, they can't build a counterattack. Uh, okay, so they've studied a main line, whether or not that's this line. Um, yeah. Yeah. This makes sense, actually. Yeah. So this would have been a perfectly reasonable way to contend with the opponent's ideas. Um, yeah. It's difficult for to find next moves for the opponent here. There might be some. I, it's just not easy. I mean, yeah, their bishop could have hit this pawn, and I'm not even sure that that's a big threat anymore, since my rook's no longer a target over there. Uh... Yeah. Yeah, I have to agree, like, what's the silver doing out here? Okay, so this is why they brought the silver out. Is to make a rook, make a target out of my rook. And they succeeded in that, because I missed their idea. Um, but yeah, I, I think silver 6-5 is an overplay. <laughs> um, yeah, there's only so much we're going to figure out on our own here. And engines will have to help us to some extent come up with the rest. Yeah, so I was trying to make this counterattack threat, obviously, to extend the range of my bishop. Um, and this looks like a... Okay. Right. Uh, yeah, so... Uh, I missed that. Yeah, pawn takes pawn is, of course, correct here. Um... Sharp stuff. <laughs> yeah, the timing of this is kind of suspect. Uh, yeah. I mean, wow, this night move? I mean, surely I just complete this, right? Um, oh, okay. Uh, interesting. Okay, so that was the purpose of the night move. Um, so what do I do against that? Do I have to push this immediately? I just don't know.
Yeah, whatever. It's just a rook. I guess they have a rook drop against it. That is somewhat troubling. Oh, hang on. They could even bring back the bishop to defend against the silliness. Yeah, okay, fine. Um, dang. So... Hmm. What a mess. What a mess. Okay, yeah. No, that's right. So I don't have any advantage here. Um, but I do survive it. That night jump and that gold move uh, are so annoying. Yeah. Then we had tactics everywhere. Uh, they missed the fork. Wait, this? Um, okay, yeah, I'd planned this here. I think they're, it's too late at this point. I think they're, they're cooked. They're giving up a silver, rather. I don't think they have any choice at this point. So, yeah. Hmm. Yeah, I'll just support what they're saying, because ultimately engines will tell us one way or another how accurate we are in calculating this stuff. I came up with a reasonable shape. Well, rather, Mino was probably not best. I probably should have played uh, the Twin Gold Castle. Um... Should have been a lot easier. I would have. I don't know if I would have saved a tempo, but I could have stuck my king on seven eight and left the gold or silver back on seven nine, um, which maybe saves a tempo. Hmm. Oh, actually, yeah, this looks favorable for me. I'm probably giving up the lance, but getting the knight somehow. Uh, where to go? Yeah, I guess that's... that's fine. Is it? Doesn't that just give this up? Uh... Uh... <laughs> yeah, unless they really want to continue review, but it, it's totally fine. 
Yeah, time zones are challenging for everyone. Yeah, I think we need some time away from this, honestly. <laughs> Yeah, I missed tactics in the end game. Oh, I wonder, yeah, how much he spotted. Um, this bishop drop. Hmm. I was considering this here. Um, oh wait, wait a second, maybe I don't want to promote right away. Hmm, tactics. No, I have to drop back here. Yeah, probably still lost for them. Because I covered the, every square that a bishop could use on this diagonal. Even if either the horse or the bishop could somehow make it here and make... They could drop a knight and somehow get another general. Like... Yeah. So this, I think I had covered as well. Uh, okay. I mean, I'd seen this during the game, too. And against that, I think... I mean, yeah, I could check. I don't know that I care. Maybe I should care. Um... I think I should just take this. And accept multiple pieces for a rook. I don't think this situation improves beyond that. Oh, okay, that's creative. Um, I guess at this point we take that um, and tactics flow. Sure, they could drop a pawn. I'm surely winning this somehow. I'm sorry, not this. Uh, we want to do this instead. But, um, yeah, surely I have a winning attack here somehow. Yeah, what a wild opening and middle game. And I was grateful that I found a way to win the end game. Even if apparently I missed multiple checkmates along the path. Um, I spotted enough tactics to survive and thrive. Yeah. Um... I guess I get to solve this out to mate. Um, 
Seems like work. <laughs> Do. I mean, is this good enough? This looks good enough. This looks good enough, I think. Mm. It's amazing what you can do with so many pieces. Yeah. Yeah. It's hard to be subtle about um that. Yeah. So that's why their attack failed. It's because um they had yeah. Yeah. Um, unfortunately, they had one plan, and I managed somehow to defend against the one plan. Imagine that. Um, although it was not easy, but knowing what your opponent is planning somehow makes the game a bit easier to play. There is a song, uh, was it by the Alan Parsons Project, Eye in the Sky? It's got some fun lyrics. Um, but yeah, it talks about, I can read your mind, etc. And um, yeah, I missed several attacking ideas in this endgame. I guess most embarrassingly, uh, Transport points out, like if I just take twice somewhere... It's mate. Uh, I didn't even see it, but let's see, where the heck is it? Probably back a bit. Um, maybe here. Maybe not. I don't have a bishop, so I don't think it's here. Um, I, if I take twice here, I get two generals in the end. But I don't, I think I need more than that here. It's, it's not this one. Um, I don't think it's here either. Yeah, earlier I've been discussing, it's the knight drop position. So where I played knight drop, I could have made it instead of, or after knight drop or before knight drop. Um, one of them. Um, doesn't seem to me like I have something here, so it's probably after knight drop. Or where I thought about knight drop. Okay. So, got this advanced, and where I was considering knight drop here. Um, if I take twice, it's mate. Hmm. Sorry, I'm not seeing it. We have a comment in the gallery. Uh. Yeah. Uh, so I'm going to communicate on Twitch, unless other folks have ideas. But, um, let's see. So, feels like I should have something here. 
Night Drop followed by Silver Takes would have set me up for a lawnmower. So had I played this, had they played... Um, silver Takes I got... Wait, I don't have Mate in one because the Silver Guard's this. Oh! The lawnmower. Oh, yes. There we go. I thought this wasn't going to work because they have a gold there. Um, but they do not have a gold there. After I exchange my knight for the gold. That is well spotted. Um, so the dragon's invincible on this point. Uh, further, I'm threatening knight takes gold mate. Um, jeez. Yeah, they have to reinforce this point. Like, something like this. Um, anyway. Oh, but then I still mate. Yeah, okay. That's powerful. This, this would have been an epic move. I missed it. Um, I'm sure many other tactics were missed this game. So early on in the game, I had commented, well, after the opening phase, that my opening knowledge, as well as my Suma skill, both require work. I think that assessment is still accurate. Even though somehow I did manage to win, um, I think the time zone difference may have somehow helped in my favor. We had, um, yeah, scheduling games is a bit tricky, but it's still quite an exciting game. I do look forward to further review of it, um, probably with the aid of some engine to help figure out or not to point out an entire variation, but just to suggest a move. Because um, I think there must have been something. I'm not familiar with this Twisting Rook strategy, even though I've tried it. I think both on 81 Dojo and Shogi Wars. It's complicated. I think Tulip has many strong points about how each side should play this system. Uh, and it was definitely... I don't know, disconcerting that until the point that I spotted the tactic, it really didn't look like I was going to have much to do here. Um, but once we spotted this, uh, things got far better. Most opponents don't play quite as aggressively as this one does, um, but that just means we have a different character of game. And I have to adapt to play this. I can't just mock it and say that, you know, just because most players don't play this way means it's a bad way to play. It's not. This is a valid approach to the game. Uh, to play aggressively and spot all the tactics. They just slipped up here. Um, yes, below one Don, I might suggest... Maybe don't play Twisting Rook. Maybe don't commit your life to playing Urashino or Side Pawn Capture or something. Maybe um, try to play something simpler until you hit one Don. Um, yeah. Static Rook, I'm sure, is even more aggressive and perhaps easier to f play. I don't know. Um, that's pretty cool. Yeah, whereas Static Rook's probably not in my nature to play, because uh, I don't particularly care for extremely aggressive play. It's I'm not committed to that kind of approach to the game. It would require more work than I'm willing to invest at this instant. But maybe long term, someday I might switch over to it. But yeah, if you are of the sort who loves preparing a system. Um, playing a simpler 
system. There are many aggressive systems out there. And in my opinion, it feels like third file rook is fairly aggressive on its own among swinging rook openings. It's not quite as aggressive as static rook in my opinion. I don't know what I'm talking about. But um, there are plenty of aggressive systems out there. You don't have to come up with the most complex novel thing out there to get a good game. But you can also take this approach of playing one system against everything. And um, as long as you play it extremely well and don't slip up, you'll be okay. But uh, this sort of aggression is a bit beyond what I'm ready for. But many players are ready for it and are all excited and raring to go with it. So uh, kudos to them. I lucked out, so lucky me. Um, yeah, this final diagram shows that I might have a thing or two to learn about both Endgames and Suma Shogi. But, um, you know, we got the job done. We got the win. And there will be more to review later. My brain can't handle it at the moment, but it's an exciting game. And I hope you enjoyed it as well. Thanks for watching.